I was in the sun for about 10 minutes today and I got very burned. Anyways, we are here at an Airbnb in Annapolis, Maryland, about to get into some hot ghoul shiz, right? Hi. Hi. I still have to do my bangs, I look crazy. <laughs> We're just getting ready right now. Um, we have to figure out a place to go eat, but hopefully it's even remotely a little spooky and if not, that's okay. But we're gonna eat some delicious food. There's some really old buildings around here from like 1775 or something. I didn't know that. So there's like a pub that we could go to. Um, I haven't looked up like <laughs> if there's anything that is like haunted. Well, I'll just use you as a mirror. There you go. So maybe we could look up like haunted attractions. We'll see what we can do. Get out of my face. <laughs> Sorry. So we got the nice guys playing on the TV right now, and we're at our Airbnb. It's pretty cozy. It's just pretty much the basement somewhere. We have stuff everywhere though, and we've been here not even like a full day practically. How are you? How are you? Thank you. Good. Your eyes look crazy. But we did find some cool things at the grocery store. Right now it is kind of coming a little past the middle of August, but guess what we found? Some Oreos for spooky season five Halloween, spook, five spooky Halloween designs. Pretty cool. Also to those beer drinkers out there, um, if you've ever had Sam Adams Jacko flavor, it basically tastes like pumpkin cider and it's delicious. And I need all of that in my life. Um, I had some earlier today and it's pretty amazing. Beep. Yeah, so our first night here, we basically got here probably around like seven-ish, but you know, we're old people, so we go to bed pretty early. Um, but we tried to watch a movie when we first settled in and it was called Night Books, right? Yes, and you were like, oh, I heard this was spooky and we didn't feel like scrolling anymore. So we're like, yes, let's, let's try it. And how long did we have it on for? Mm, maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes maybe, and we just couldn't. We just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it, I mean. It was so like, how did you even describe that? I don't know. It just felt like just... Force? It's, it's, yeah, it's like the modern movie, like, syndrome now, where it's like, we gotta throw everything at you within the first five minutes to keep your interest. It didn't even make sense. Yeah, it was like this kid writes horror stories, and for some reason he goes crazy, and then his parents are like... It's like, oh, he's got to stop doing that or whatever. And then some like witch type lady just all of a sudden gets summoned into his room and we stopped there. So if you watched Night Books, hopefully you enjoyed it more than we did. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't really give it much of a chance, but we started watching um, an Amazon original called The Manor. And it has to do with old people. So maybe that was up our alley, so. <laughs> So just a quick thing to say, I have a new single out on streaming platforms. Um, it's just under my name, Brett, last name is Schleicher, it's S-C-H-L-E-I-C-H-E-R. And um, I'll leave a link to my Spotify page in the description of this video, but it's called Splatter Pumpkin Guts, and if you like spooky sounding stuff that sounds a little bit crazy, this might be up your alley, because I'm a madman when I couldn't start writing music, but yeah, check it out if you want. Where's my food? I don't know. How are you feeling? Hungry. Beep. Do you have any coffee left? 
What are you gonna do? Die. Hi. <laughs> so we're back in our car. I tried to shoot footage of this cool bookstore we went to, and yikes, it is hot as I don't even know. But like, you can literally yes. see, you can see my sweat dripping off my hair. That's how hot it is. And we were only there, what? Like, I don't know. 30 minutes maybe? Look at my face. <laughs> yeah, we were there like half hour. We walked like what, only 0.3 miles? It's so hot outside today. It's almost 90. Yeah. So. Except we're in a parking garage and it says 84. So it's definitely like 103 and I want to stay inside forever. Yeah. Right. Back on the way to Satan's butthole. Uh -huh. It's 102 outside. Hi, guess what? What? We found a shopping center that has a Marshalls, Joann's, Home Goods, and a Home Sense. I've never been in Home Sense, so you'll have to show me the rooms. I haven't either, but I've always wanted to go. Alright, well, we're gonna get going. What are you drinking? Gatorade? My favorite kind that I can never find. Glacier Cherry. Did you know you rhymed? No. You did? I'm a poet, and I don't even know. It? No, I just don't know. Oh, you don't even know. I guess so. That is so cool. It's funny because I don't even really care about this part. I just like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get it. It's okay. not time for the Halloween fortune roll. Spooky days are ahead. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. But. <laughs> so this is something that Brett picked out, which I was very surprised by. Because um, normally I don't think that this is something you would grab. Not, not normally. But I, he, surprised it with, he surprised me with it in the cart. So I'm very eager to find out if they actually work and to see which ones we fight over because I already called dibs on this one. I wanted the um, pumpkin probably most of all. I figured. Yeah. So I'll take these. All right, you're welcome. And then this was from Marshall's, if you could smell this. And look how orange it is. It's so orange. It's candy corn. And it's one of my favorite candle companies. I don't know, this candle company, DW Home. Sorry, my nose is itchy now. It's okay. Um, DW Home, they make really good candles that the smell is not like overwhelming, so it doesn't give me a headache. So. That's good. It's usually a pretty safe choice with this. And it was $7.99. I don't think that's that bad for a candle that'll burn for 35 hours. Yeah, so. and like, it's not a Yankee candle where things are about like $30 for, you know, a candle. But they're like this big though. I know, but I did buy that Scarecrow one from that one company. Village candle. From Village Candle, and that's like, that was like 20. 20. Mm -hmm. And it's been burning quite a while. Since June. Yeah, and it's now mid-August. And it's only like not even halfway burned. Yeah. So, okay, so then this was not something we had picked out, but we were sitting in, or standing in the line to check out, and I saw this. And I have no idea what they're made out of, if they're hollow, if they're filled with something. I don't know. But I loved, like, I can't tell what you can see on there, babe, but... Yeah, you can see the pumpkins, like, the ghosts. The witch is probably one of my favorites. Yeah, you can see the bat. Very, very, like, vintage inspired. Mm -hmm. And I made the joke, I was, you were like, how did I get it to look like that? I'm like, maybe because it's 30 years old. Yeah. But that was obviously a joke. So, I've never heard of Rohan chocolatier you rohan rohan no that's the first for me so that might be a very popular company i'm not sure yeah but i'm excited me too to try one yeah we'll see how this it is this is something that i feel like dino track would have bought yeah definitely i would think so, so. yeah I think um, hopefully it's not just gimmicky based on its look and the candy actually tastes pretty decent. Are you trying it now? Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to give me your thoughts. Oh, I will. Sorry, this might be loud. No, it's all good. I feel like a dad, but I'm going to say it. 
They must really not want you to get into these things. Mm -hmm. Or uh, you know, at Christmas time, if something's in a in a box, I'm gonna be like a cardboard box. I always needed that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try a pumpkin. Pumpkin, classic. A jack o' lantern. Yeah. All right, let's see. What's your dibs? I mean, what's your guess? Hollow. What do you mean? Is this hollow? Um. Or is there something in it? I think it might be filled with some sort of cream. I I want it to be, but yeah. I think it's empty. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Is it hollow? It's hollow. Oh, uh, okay. That's not still not that bad though. But it tastes good. Does you it? Taste a bite? Yeah, sure. Mm. Oh, you already had it on you. Yeah, it's actually not bad. We saw a ton of stuff. We didn't take a lot of footage. Because mm -hmm. it was just like, there, it was it busy. Was, it was really crowded in all the stores, so I felt yeah. a little uncomfortable trying to get footage. Because mm -hmm. I felt like someone was going to watch me. And when okay. you're six foot six, people look at you. Like, I'm sorry, just people look at you. So we didn't take a lot of footage, but there was a lot of stuff, a lot more than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. So we're going to share, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to share what we got at the bookstore that we mentioned. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I wanted to share was this because they actually had a big poster of this yep. going down the spiral staircase to the first floor. Um, and I really liked it. So when I saw it at the checkout counter, it's a postcard, mm -hmm. but I'm just gonna probably stick it up somewhere because I love it. Yeah, it has such a cool look to it. And that's the name of the bookshop. I don't yeah. know if we mentioned it in any other videos we were taking. Oh. Um, but it's called Old Fox's Books and Coffee, or yeah. Old Fox Books and Coffee. Yes. So. So super cool used bookstore, um, and somebody that previously worked there actually designed this, which I thought was cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I didn't get much there. I saw a couple things I did really think were interesting, but I just stuck with this one, and it's maybe a little unexpected, but... I think it was kind of funny. I do like humor, um, and I like to read humor. So this is called You Can't Make This Shit Up, Tales from the HR Crypt. <laughs> so it's just like really funny stories from people, like from different companies, like Human Resources Department. Yeah. So I'm really excited to read it. Um, it looks like it has some art in here too, in different places. And I have a um, sister-in-law, so like there's some... That's funny. I have a sister-in-law that is an HR person, so when I'm done with it, I'm gonna send it along to her, pass it along. So that's what I got. Can you cool. share what you got? Yep. Uh, I almost walked out of um, this bookstore with almost nothing. Um, there was stuff that interests me, but nothing that like, was like really caught my eye until Kelly was checking out, and I came across this book called Postmortem, and um, Patricia Daniels Cornwell, I've never heard of as an author, but. I was kind of in the mood to get something that's like a who down who done it type thing, and I love stuff like that, whether it's movies or I just love mysteries. And this kind of has to do with um, like people who work in a morgue or whatever, and apparently like you know autopsies and stuff like that of trying to figure out like clues to a case. And I just thought it sounded pretty interesting, so I'm gonna give it a shot. This was kind of just a blind buy, but yeah, hopefully uh, it's good. We're tired. We're gonna go home, at least back to our Airbnb, see what we can do before going to dinner. Kelly feels like death. <laughs> so she's eating a burrito. <laughs> That's it.